Hey everybody, Kiri Dynamite here, and hello to each and every one of you out there watching. Um, today I'm going to be ranking the classic Disney movies, and I've been wanting to do these ranking videos and reaction videos for a long time, but I was trying to figure out like the green screen, how to do OBS, and I finally figured it out. I finally uh, had the time to sit down and do it. Is Fine and Mad the same thing? You know what, I'll put... Cool cool you know all right meh yeah seen it once and low-key traumatic the first movie up is um i'm gonna go with emperor's new groove and i'm gonna put it's an enjoyable and a fun time because it really is i just don't it's not that comfort movie for me though personally um but it's always a good time when i watch it you know i'm gonna go with lady and the tramp and Lady and the Tramp is a comfort movie for me. I don't know. I When I was a kid, it's not like I watched it a bunch, really. But I really enjoyed it. And I feel like, and I feel like, as an adult, I love it even more. So I watch it, um, and I put it on. And it's like, it's just, it's such a cute movie. That song, He's a Tramp, He's a Tramp. But I love him. Like, she went in. And we don't talk about it enough. But anyway love that movie pinocchio and dumbo are both traumatic you know what i don't put this on i don't put those movies on for my niece and my nephews like it's just not something that i want to be like hey auntie used to watch this as a kid it's gonna scare them we got donkeys turning into children on paradise island i think it was called and then you have uh the the elephants on parade that's like you're on drugs no i'm not doing that to my i'm not doing that to my beloved little little family members you know i'm not doing that fantasia is to me it's a fun and joyful time you have amazing animation you have amazing orchestra 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 orchestral you have amazing music and it's just really pretty to watch and i very much enjoy it and the stories you, you there's no talking it's just straight up music and animation i love it fan the regular fantasia i'm gonna put it at the um the same thing the next one i'm gonna do is 100 and dalmatians and you know what 100 and dalmatian is a comfort movie you like canine crunchies um i love this movie and i love that Cruella de Vil is just a horrible she's just a horrible person she's killing puppies the villain is just straight out there's no gray area and Roger and Anita were enjoyable and that scene when he's doing Cruella de Vil da -da 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 -da, I mean classic okay and so next I'm gonna go I'm gonna go rescuers and I'm going to say meh. Now, maybe I need to rewatch Rescuers. I've probably seen it twice in my life. I just don't, I don't even really remember the plot. I, or, it was there like some detective, go, detective things going on. Wait, is that the movie with the detective? I'm going to have to rewatch it and remember and see if it sparks any memories for me. Next, let's do Fox and the Hound. And I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it down and seen it low seen it, seen it once. I don't I only remember watching it once. And as an adult, for some reason it makes me sad and I don't know if somebody dies. I don't remember exactly what happened. All I know is that there is just sadness with that movie. And I'm gonna have to rewatch it. But I don't know why. That's that's the memory I have with it, so I'm going to put Loki traumatic because why is it triggering me? Bambi, traumatic. Mother dies. Bambi's fending for himself. And, you know, you have the cute little woodland creatures. You have Thumper. That's all cool and well. The dad comes back, just stares at him, then leaves as king as the king deer of the forest. Just a lot. A lot. And when I was a kid, I was not putting this on for fun. Sword in the Stone seen it once i don't remember if it's great did i rewatch this currently or was that the black cauldron shouldn't the black cauldron be on here um sword in the stone i know merlin arthur i just it doesn't 
stick with my soul. So I'm gonna have to keep it down there. But no hate, no shade to that movie. But Aristocats. I'm gonna put Aristocats at cool. You know, the music is fun, the characters are fun. Everybody, everybody wants to be your girl. I mean, that's very catchy, but I'm gonna keep it there. Alice in Wonderland. I'm gonna put it at cool. It's in the middle. I didn't, I don't go back to watch it a lot. Cheshire Cat was, he was creepy and I didn't like the way he smiled and he just didn't sit right with me. The journey, the storytelling, great. But I still to this day don't, now my friend loves Alice in Wonderland, but I, it's okay. Winnie the Pooh. Now, Winnie the Pooh is a comfort movie. I don't always put it on, but when I do, like, when I see something Winnie the Pooh, I do acquaint, like, I, I, I match warmness to it. And what's funny is, like, my sister hates Winnie the Pooh. She can't stand Winnie the Pooh. And when I was a kid, I was trying to be like her, and I was like, yeah, Winnie the Pooh. Boo, tomatoes. But now that I'm looking back, I'm like, I actually did like Winnie the Pooh. And I was just trying to, like, be like my sister. Um, so sorry, Winnie the Pooh, for being fake. I enjoy you a lot. I love that you love Honey. Same. Tigger is great. I always loved Tigger because, like, he was always losing focus. And me. Um, so, yeah. I, I enjoy Winnie the Pooh. The truth is coming out. Um, Robin Hood, I think, is an enjoyable, fun time. Little John and Robin Hood are walking through the forest, laughing back and forth on what the other has to say. <laughs> so, I do actually put Robin Hood on just to have in the background, and, um, yeah, I like it. Goofy Movie is definitely a comfort movie. Ah, to ah! That is, uh, that was a little bad, but ignore that. Um, I listen, I still, to this day, listen to the soundtrack, Okay love 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 this movie love the storytelling it's funny um the songs are catchy the second one is an enjoyable fun time here's the thing when i was a kid i really hated that max treated goofy so badly and goofy was just trying to, and yeah was he smothering him a bit yes but goofy just loved him so much and max was so disrespectful like, he, he really wasn't, to my mind, to my recollection, he really didn't sit his dad down and say, listen, dad, I love you. I appreciate you. I'm there for you. You there for me. But I'm in college now and I'm trying to have my own life. He really didn't articulate it very nicely. But the movie is still an enjoyable, fun time. <laughs> Next, I'm going to do Jungle Book. And Jungle Book is also an enjoyable, fun time. I don't always put it on. But we're getting down to the nitty gritty, guys. Now, this is really where my um, decision paralysis kicks in. Okay, so let's do Snow White. I'm going to put her down with Matt. I've seen it more than once. It just, I like the villain, though. I don't know what that says about me. Um, but it's just okay. I don't enjoy Snow White. The songs. I am wishing. For the one I love. Like, no one wants to hear that. I do like the animation of when she's running through the forest and she's so scared. But that's it. Sleeping Beauty um, is a comfort movie. The thing about Sleeping Beauty is I don't always put it on. But it is a comfort movie because I have very fond memories of watching it when I was a kid. So... Sleeping and now I actually just started putting it on recently. Um, but I do, I like Aurora, she's sweet, and um, just the story of Maleficent being mad because, like, y'all, I really ain't gonna send me an invite. Oh, your daughter, though, she's gonna sleep for 16 years. Well, actually, no, she was gonna kill her, and then the fairies, you know, changed it. But I enjoy this film let's do cinderella comfort movie duh she's up there with sleeping beauty um 
love the story. I mean, we know there are a hundred different stories for Cinderella. Um, Cinderella, twist of time, twist in time, child. Whew, that's it. It's a classic. Um, Beauty and the Beast, comfort movie. Y'all probably see where this is going. Um, Aladdin, comfort movie. Hello. I mean, that is Robin Williams doing his thing. He wasn't playing around with us. He said, I'm going to get in this studio and blow your mind. Like, you don't really watch, I mean, you don't really watch Aladdin for Aladdin. You watch Aladdin for that Aladdin and Genie chemistry. You watch it for Robin Williams' music, singing, talent, whatever. It's just, I love it. I really, really do. Um, Mulan comfort movie definitely when i was a kid that when she was cutting her hair putting on that armor like i was losing my mind i'd be in front of the tv like yeah definitely comfort movie tarzan comfort movie tarzan is one of the greatest soundtracks of all time okay phil collins just did not have to go that hard and in sync did not have to join him that hard okay so good lion king is definitely a comfort movie i know i should probably should have done lion king last but i feel like it's obvious that move is seen every time i know i should be over it but i'm not i'm really not i'll skip the scene of mufasa dying i can't take it like they didn't have to do all that they really didn't have to do all that okay pocahontas is definitely a comfort movie for me. And it's the only thing I didn't like about Pocahontas was she was, Cocoa doesn't laugh enough. Cocoa Disco, let me find a Cocoa these days. Girl, I'm sure if you got to know him, you could make him laugh, you know? Like, girl, Cocoa, Co John Smith Cocoa. John Smith Cocoa. And at the end, she didn't even pick John Smith in the sequel. Had me messed up. Anyway. I need to move on. Peter Pan is an enjoyable, fun time. I don't put it on as a comfort movie, but I will watch it and have joy in my heart. Okay? Next, Little Mermaid, comfort movie, of course. Soundtrack, amazing. Is she a little dumb? Yes. But she just wanted to have her own life. And maybe that was an excuse, you know? Maybe she really didn't care that much about Eric. She was like, this is my ticket out of here. Out of the water, with my own legs, let's go. She said, I'm a land girl, you know? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, definitely comfort movie. Hunchback of Notre Dame is one of the most replays for me. Um, I love the music. The, it's to me it's in my top five disney soundtracks it's beautiful tony J doing the voice of judge frollo was so good and visceral you could feel the judgment in his voice and his singing the world is cruel the world is wicked die alone who you can trust in this whole city just if you if you don't really like hunchback that much and you haven't seen it as a kid just revisit it. You got that Disney Plus subscription. You got that DVD. Go watch it again. The story is so good, okay? The music is so good. The themes, so good, okay? Get into it. We're going to do Hercules next. Definitely in my top five soundtracks, okay? And let me know if y'all want me to do a Disney soundtrack ranking. That'd be fun, okay? But yes... Hercules is definitely up there because it has I love mythology um so you know the mythology the music the characters such a good time so that's definitely a comfort movie for me and then Oliver and Company I will put this movie on a thousand times like one week I played Oliver and Company like four times and my nephew was like oh my god this movie again and I'm like it's good once upon a time in new york city like keep your dreams alive dreaming is still how the strong survive 
Once upon a time in New York City. Like, come on. It's about a cat who no one wanted. He found some dogs, Dodger. It's so good Chris Evans named his dog Dodger. Need I say more? That's the proof. <laughs> but no, seriously. Oliver and Company is one of my favorite animated movies. It's a feel-good movie with animals. So, yeah. Let me know down in the comments what you want to see next. And, yep, yeah, those are my rankings. You know what? Emperor's New Groove gotta... It gotta move up, actually. Because that movie is hilarious. And I watched a bunch as a kid. That's probably the only reason why I don't watch it a bunch now is because I... I had the DVD caught fire. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.